Because uh, at the beginning of the stream, we watched the games that we did not win. Now let's look at the win. Okay. So prior to this game of the Nostalgia Battlefield third match in the third round of winner bracket against Team TH, Team Grubby, which was me, So Shishi, and WFC. We, uh, they said that it would be wise for me to play hit and run style with Raiders because I'm kind of known for that in China. And it's exactly what I was thinking as well uh, to do already. So that was the plan. But until then, there's a lot of early game preceding that. I noticed that 120 is quite happy to creep early with DK solo and Rod of Necromancy, but there's not a lot of things to do on this map until you get two sets of skeletons. Anyway, uh, I knew about this trick where you pull the golem, you pull it behind the shop, you attack it, you lock it in, <coughs> and you attack it with burrow. <coughs> to make it really easy to get the XP. He's gonna come in right away with DK. I had to make this fast and also shoot the Acolyte so there's not some kind of surprise steal. We get the item, we get Tome of Strength and Devotion Aura, plus one armor. Tech to, to the next tier. Our tech is the same time. He goes from the Ruby and one Ziggurat and, uh, and tier two. And then second Zig and Crypt Fiend. Okay, so now my plan was like, okay, great. I had a great start. Let's just start doing little green stuff with my blade here and there. Get myself to level two. Not too ambitious, just a little bit of extra X XP. I don't need level three with three godly items because I already got a really good early game. So I send my blade to the goblin shop. I buy the circlet and I get a tome of something, which happens to be a tome of agility. We'll get level 2.3. Finish our third burrow and we make our fourth grunt, which I always like against undead. Now what did he do? He went for summoning skeletons and then doing the orange camp here with just one crypt fiend. That's how these Chinese undeads get value. They like to creep more than you might expect, even with little things. And one thing I realized is that 120 and his compadres like WFC, besides the fact that they have a really good mind and great micro and great timing and good build orders, the key actually is skeleton scouting. That is completely the key. The difference of an undead who asks me on stream, like, how do I beat Orc? I always get killed out of my base, uh, he creep checks me, and so on and so on. And when I play undead, I also lose like hell to, undead, uh, to Orc on stream. The number one difference is your prowess with skeleton scout. Every time 120 and other Chinese undeads, especially 120, but also others, they know where the uh, opponent is. If the orc is creeping, you can either jack or creep. If the orc isn't creeping and only harassing, don't do a thing. He's going to Black Citadel with just two Crypt Fiends. And when you look at 120, he always made sure he has three. So WFC is teching even faster. No upgrades, just Crypt Fiend. Two, Slaughter in tier three. Again, skeletons uh, scouting. I quickly go for a big camp. I get the Goblin Shop here. Double B Shree. Now he hasn't scouted my main yet, so he doesn't know my tech. Orcs in China, uh, and the Korean Orcs in China, they have completely fallen into a situation where they go Blade Shadow tier 3 or Blade TC tier 3, Lightning Orb, Fortified Defenses, bunch of Grunt Raider, then Headhunters, maybe third hero yes, maybe no, and then they wait for the attack. So he's not scouting anymore. Now he sees one Bishri, but does he see a second? He sees me creeping this and that's generally like, okay, you're, you're planning an expansion at some point. 
He sees that, but he doesn't see second um, Bishri. What he does see is a lack of tier 3. Now my tier 3 would be way too late if he was planning it. So he pretty much knows I'm playing for an expansion with tier 2. Like an early early Great Hall and a late tier 3. Now he already made the decision to go for Banshees because apparently he likes to do so. And that's what he's getting. So I saw him here. I decided I want to go Creepjack. I've got level 2 Shadow and it feels good to go. I also have Ruined Bracers from the shop, which is a very lucky item, allowing me to play more aggressively and to get away with murder. We go for this. Uh, he doesn't have a whole lot of mana on DK, plus we've got Hex to remove the possibility of, uh, of a coil. Now, four Raiders is kind of a lot. You should know that I have double Bishri by now. Stupid creep cancels my solve. This was uh, pretty close. Thanks for the rune bracers. Very lucky. I'm getting my five and six raider. And now I see, oh yeah, banshees. Again, surviving thanks to rune bracers. He has a good game sense. He knows what HP I must have to coil Nova kill me. But either he didn't click my items or he misjudged because of it. Now obviously since I'm getting like mass units, that's great trading. I'm getting mass units and uh, the second base of income. If I'm going to tier three and we trade like this, I'm not gonna have six raiders. He's gonna do better in that fight. Now normally if I don't have expansion and I make this many units, he will also lose the fight, but he can win by outscaling me in the late game, getting some nice tier three. But now I've got the threat of the expansion. Now he prepares pretty well for it. At this point, Undead can't really go creep anymore. It must pretty much be about going for the all-in. Now he's getting a shade because he's afraid I'll do some uh, hit and run. He killed a single raider, but I bought a lot of time and he sends two ghouls to the expansion soon. First some skeletons, then ghouls. I'm just using my raiders to buy time, get some vision. And ideally, I'd like to just threaten and go for his um, town hall. Now, if we look at the situation now, this is the key moment. We had a fantastic fight here and a lucky item after a lucky opening spawn with an early rock column 6. We have 600 gold. We're getting upgrades. We've got a full running expansion. Furthermore, we've got TP, level 3-3, claws, mantle plus 6. Staff of Tally, and all he's got is DK3 and 2 Lich with nice tech like Banshee. That's about it. Uh, so we are in a fantastic position already. We could have probably won the game in many different ways, but uh, anyway, my plan was to go for his base, and he wouldn't have been able to do anything, it would be constant hit and run. But I saw that he was like clicking after me, his Banshees were in front, so I go for Banshees instead. Now you can see that when he gets down to it, he's got pretty nice damage on Raiders. And with that, without Link, it's pretty much a few hits and then cast a spell and they're dead. But first, I'm going to defend my peons with stuff. And now he's kind of like shepherding me to the top of the map. So he can both fight my army as well as harassing my worker line at the same time. Which is for him far preferable than having to go home. And then never being able to have a straight up fight anymore. Yeah, at this point, we catch the Lich, we have a big army, we've got one attack upgrade, which helps a lot. And we hex the DK, so he cannot give TP or uh, Coil anymore. Dreadlord, I'm not sure why. <laughs> it's funny. So, what I do now, going for like, um, besides the fact that my blade is getting like, something. What I do now... Like hit and run and then speed scroll away. I guess sleep is pretty nice for that because he can catch some units. But even if I lose one hero, one unit, doesn't matter. I could hit and run like this a lot and we can win the game like that. But it's I just so happen to catch his banshees in front every time. That's pretty much it. We're getting a 70 foot army. Wind Riders, Kodos. And there we go.
That's a GG. Now, I also want to look at some games that I did not play. I'm trying to think where some of the cool games were. Uh, I'm going to open Liquipedia Nostalgia Battlefield. Yeah, I think he got Dreadlord because you can sleep a unit or a hero and kill them when I'm trying to hit and run. It's kind of like Cyclone. Let's see. There was Infi versus Moon. That's pretty okay. Fly TH, where TBCBM beat three in a row. I want to see that one. Uh, fly versus TH. Game three. Okay. So again, Twisted Meadows, which is uh, Lynn's of uh, Fly's choice. My choice too, when I play it. And I haven't seen this game before, so it's going to be pretty interesting. I want to watch it from the Orc Vision initially. Same opening as me. Blade, Grunts, Double Burrow. Work complete. Importantly, and an uh, early peons card. Shop in the middle. Now, the shop in the middle is nice. And he was going to do it. But I don't like it against Undead's um, new style Undead. Because they go for... Oh, he actually went for late altar. But they go for like early altar. And then they come and kill a sheep. Make skeleton and kill the shop. And because he saw that um, Undead was on that side, top right. Yes, this is Fly T TBC. Because he saw that Undead was top right, he decided to make it in his own base instead. Which will cost him movement speed efficiency. But it's going to gain him safety for it. Tech. So Undead went straight for natural. I've seen Happy do this. I'm sure other people did it, but... It's kind of like, it's nice because it gives you a 200 gold item or 150 gold item. And it gives you level 2. And it's kind of less expected than the orange camp at the uh, middle. So it's I a nice evasion you. creeping style for undead. Excuse me, Mr. Grubby. Do you have a moment to talk about <laughs> our lord and saviors, our underscore Shxi and his prophet? W Thank you, CC. Kappa, 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 but really, I hope you had fun in China. I did, Sammy Welcome Chuck. back. I did, thanks man. Man, I love World of Warcraft so good. Yeah, Sid Kins, yeah. Yes, thank you for the wins, CC. Okay. Um, Alright, so he gets his boots, he's level 2. Attacks some Fiends, pretty nice damage. And he gets a Crypt Fiend, but he can't lose a Grunt like this. Oh. Pity. He, his good work is undone by that. Okay. Now he remakes that grunt, which means he's basically a five grunt player. So he's very invested in the earlier mid game with with five grunts. Work complete. Summoning is complete. Okay, it gets lit. I always feel like Undead is out of money, man. Our are under attack. When I play Undead, when I watch others, I always think, how can they have so little money? It's because they keep having to buy a rod. Feels rod. So here's the style for Orc, man. It's like you've got this Undead who makes barely any units, and you don't punish tier 2, which is their weakest. That's what bothered me about current meta, which I think is wrong. I think there should be more tier 2 shenanigans. Hit and runs, everything. Make the undead do their due diligence of safety before saying like, okay, I'm going to go to tier 3 and defend. Ah, wait, did... No, he didn't steal it. Yes, weekends are not good for Heroes of the Storm, Komara. Because everyone that doesn't play in the week suddenly plays in the weekend. 
And they're generally a little wonky. Our forces are under attack. Upgrade. So I I hear a report here that Dreadlord was used to counter uh hit and run style and i think it can work to a pretty good degree but it should not be the end all be all to stop it okay so he's going grunt raider kodo fortified defenses We're under attack. with tc pretty good this is like standard classic orc Losing shop early is bad. Let's take a lot of damage too. Ooh. Yeah, okay, so the reason Fly lost this game, whatever else happens, I would say they would have a pretty fair fight actually if they met. Pretty decent fight. But whatever else happens, the reason Fly lost this is because he doesn't have a peon scout in between. And under the attack straight with 50. He doesn't even have destroyers, it's just two banshees with a depth upgrade. It's so funny style. You don't even use anti-magic. He just wants the bonus uh, health and mana. Boom. He's got the lightning orb on the TC. That was clever, buying it before the shop died. He's giving it to Blade now. Uh, he could have done with some uh, peons. Micro for Fly could have been better as well. Showing that he's not playing at his best either on day one. So it's not just me that's inconsistent at uh, that journey. Uh, Undead's getting a lot of value from Frost Armor and Curse. So much uh, damage mitigation. Four grunts are trying to kill a skeleton. Yeah, for sure. Mana regen super important. Did he remake shop? Yeah, he did. Smart. This looks not so bad. And if he hexed DK instead of healing Shadow, chances are DK dies, Shadow dies, and then a lot more stuff dies from Undead. Wow, look at this. 50 food. For 40. Okay, I'm pretty sure that when you make the DK TP with 3.5 uh, life, you sell the Devotion Aura. You buy Tiny Great Hall and you just go for it. Expand. This is where Fly is playing too gentlemanly. So whenever a human player doesn't tower rush an orc, just makes Archmage magicking and attacks or fights or creeps, I always think, wow, you're such a gentleman, but you should be a bastard. Do the effective lame thing. Now what is he doing here? He buys heal potion after winning a fight pretty decisively, knowing the undead has to lick his wounds for a minimum of two minutes. Minimum. DK can't even heal that fast. Tiny Great Hall earns itself back in two minutes. And that's the time he's licking his wounds, so it is 100% win win. He, it could be finished right now. He's getting nice creeps, but oh my god, he lost like two, two units to creeps. And this is the problem, it's like, 
You've got 900 food. Zero unit upgrades. Only two unit production structures. Which means that even if you start producing right now. It will take quite a long time. To even get to 65-70 food. And it will still be a shit army. Because it's still fighting against frost armor cars. Doesn't have casters. Wait, where's his TP? Oh my god, no TP. So it's a 50 food versus 50 food. Even though he could have contrived to have a fight. Like 30 food differential. Oh, possess! Oh, yes! Yes. <laughs> Double code of possess! Ouch. But hey, Fly at least has 1100 gold. Oh, Jesus. No, don't kill the Kodos. We were friends, remember? Wait, where is his web? Started. We had no lumber. Note, this is something I noticed on 120 as well. Completely ignoring grunts. It's not that they're unkillable, but all the Chinese undeads, they don't even try to focus the grunts. Like sometimes they'll try and kill it. Oh my God, nice. Sometimes they'll try and kill it. But for the most part, they're going for heroes, raiders, coders, and headhunters. In that order, probably. They don't even go for hero only because they have a hope to get it. They just want to remove the best positional effectiveness of War Stomp. That's why they call Nova Tissi. They generally don't go for Shadow because Shadow can save himself pretty easily. They want to remove the best stomps. So by Coil Nova, the Tarn Chieftain, that means they're not in the middle of Undead Army. And they want to reduce the DPS of Blade. And that's why they call Nova him. He stole a Raider. Oh. Amazing. And that's how he won. Nice. Okay, looking at the bracket, what else do I want to watch? Mm. Moon versus 120. Moon one against Zun. One twenty beating fly on ancient isles. Did I see that? But I don't want to watch the back-to-back -back fly game. Pretty shocked actually that Lin team lost one six. His teammate life was actually very well spoken of as a top player, as a top four player at the amateur uh, choices. But he did lose to Colorful and Zosh, uh, Shishi. So when you think about it, he lost to really good players. Can't happen, right? Sorry, a little tired. How did you practice games go versus Shishi? I won the first straight up normal game. And then I lost the next three. It's kind of like, since he was in much better shape than me, he kind of had to figure out my style. And he's like, oh, that was, uh, let's go again. I know how to beat you now. <laughs> Back in the days when we played, there would be periods where I would win the majority and there would be periods where he would win the majority. He was a really good prank partner because our level was fairly similar.
I didn't play versus Lolliet, Mifunikinski. Or you mean uh, me versus Sissi when in the replay of in the custom games? Have you considered cheesing versus focus or TH? No, I feel like cheese. Actually, yeah, I considered it. <laughs> I definitely considered it a lot, actually. Uh, I was against focus on Twisted, and I figured if we meet and I'm top left, I'm gonna Farseer Fire Lord cheese him. But I wasn't top left, I was top right. Uh, and if. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And uh, against TH, I wanted to do Wind Rider cheese. If I want to do that, control one blade, control two everything else, kill Moonwell with this army, and then return. But at least Blade will be at home attacking the skeletons. It's still bad. Anytime someone gets an early Book of the Dead against anyone, against Undead, except against Elf because they have Wisp, but uh, you can still use it really well against their talents somewhere in the middle of the fight. But anytime someone gets a Book of the Dead that early, it's super OP. But I can still win or mitigate if I do the correct things. But I forgot I had staff. At this moment onwards, I'm like, oh my god, Crisis, so I'm starting to attack, but he's got Moonwall's Orb of Venom.